start this new now. We're tracking the tropics. There's a disturbance over the Bahamas and heading our way. Could become tropical depression in the next few days. Let's get right to CBS4 meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez, who's standing by with more on what this means for us here. Lisette. Well, Lauren and Maribel, you can see this disturbance is producing showers and thunderstorms across the Turks and Caicos, as well as parts of the Bahamas. And it is forecast to move to the northwest, and the Hurricane Center has been increasing the potential for this wave to become a depression or a tropical storm. And it could happen as soon as later today or tomorrow. There's a 70% chance of it happening in the next 48 hours hours over the next five days, an 80% chance. But whether or not this is a depression or a tropical storm, we will likely see the same impacts, a lot of moisture associated with it, bringing heavy rain, gusty winds, unfortunately, to the Bahamas through today and tomorrow, and then for us and through the weekend. And then we'll see if it heads just to the east of the state or heads to the Gulf of Mexico. There's some uncertainty there. And then there's a wave that's west of the Cape Verde Islands, and it has a medium potential of development over the next five days as it moves across the Atlantic. It's going to be near the Lesser Antilles early next week. But let's talk about this trough over the Bahamas that's going to continue to bring plenty of moisture. So showers increasing today, especially tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow night is when conditions become especially favorable for development. But really, through the weekend, that moisture is going to stick around. And that means throughout the day today, breezy showers. So, yeah, depending on where it is and how it tracks, that will determine just how wet and windy we'll be here on South Florida because if it's just offshore, obviously the worst of the weather would be on the east side, the dirty side, and we could still see some passing showers and gusty storms. So regardless of development, for now, we are seeing the potential for stormy conditions and gusty winds through the weekend. We'll have more on the rest of the forecast in just a few minutes.